And good afternoon, and we are talking to you from an industrial warehouse on the outskirts of Glasgow. So why are we at an industrial warehouse on the outskirts of Glasgow? Well, we are here for a media event for Ghost Hunter, the new attraction by Visible Fiction. We don't know anything about this. Uh, we know this building is a studio, and they've taken over the whole ground floor of the studio. They've, uh, they're building a big immersive set. Um, there's supposedly there's some new technology um, in here. It's part escape room, part immersive theater um, with some technology. We really just don't actually know too much about it, but because uh, we were invited, of course we're here. So um, we're gonna go in uh, in a little while and then we will let you know our thoughts when we come out the other side. So once again, we are at Ghost Hunter by Visible Fictions in a not so secret location on the outskirts of Glasgow. See you in a bit. And you may notice I am now filming this video in the airport. And the reason I'm filming it in the airport is the event itself went on for over two hours. Uh, and there were two hours. I mean, they just flew by while we were in there. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be that long. Um, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, the set was absolutely incredible. Uh, really, really good, good set. Uh, the story and everything that was going on, it was partly had escape room type elements um, but you're not left alone as an escape room um, a lot of the story is told from one room and then you venture out around the house in small groups to find different things you use a lot of the tech the tech is a way of like hunting for ghosts and hunting for spirits and a portal for the spirits to come through um, all starts off sort of fairly slow fa fairly benign the ghosts are obviously trying to be quite friendly by the end all hell breaks loose um, there was one scene uh, with a mirror um, I actually screamed so loud it was it was well the people in the other room could hear it over the microphone um, and then when we came back everyone was like oh my god oh my god what happened to you guys in there um, lots of things would suddenly happen like books would fly off the shelves um, towards the end the big finale we, we volunteered to go out for the final um, search around the house uh, to go and see if we could put the uh, spirits to rest and they basically went mad with the special effects you know lights were swinging rocking chairs were rocking doors were slamming uh, it's a really technical show um, and basically you only you're, you're in there with one person one actor and we were a group of about eight eight to ten of us um, there was so much going on so much involvement and you, I've got to praise the actor for actually being able to keep the story going, keep us guessing, get us working out what was going on, who the ghosts or ghosts were, what they wanted, what they were up to, um, timing that with all the special effects, the story, um, all the technical stuff that was going on around the shop. It was a very, very technical show. As I said, the sets looked amazing, uh, all built in a studio. Um, it's only here for about three weeks and I think it's really close to sold out. So if you do get a chance to come to Glasgow, I, I would absolutely recommend it. It's a slow build. It doesn't you know, scare you immediately. But by the end of it, you are so immersed in the story and so caught up with what's going on. that when the effects do, cut, do come, uh, they absolutely make you scream. Uh, we were hanging on to each other in the dark. There were lots of periods of darkness, flashing lights, special effects and other things. So... That's it. I would absolutely recommend Ghost Hunter. And um, yeah, if you are in Glasgow at all, and you get a chance to come up here, do do it. I absolutely recommend it. And it's really close to the airport, so don't bother hiring a car. Just get an Uber from Glasgow Airport. You could easily do it in a day. Hop on like I've done. Um, come up here. And um, yeah, it's about five minutes away from Glasgow Airport. So with that, we're going to sign off and we will see you at the next event.